Guys, I think we broke time. Oh, I have something really important to tell you. We are on the hundredth episode of Legends of Tomorrow is mind blowing. We are immortal superheroes and nothing is gonna stand in our way. Buckle up. Things are getting pretty wild over here on the 100th episode of Legends of Tomorrow. Can we please go five minutes without crashing the wave rider? The dream continues. <laughs> oh, hey, I know you're not gonna take that, Bebo. Well, fans are gonna freak out. From that first day to right now, has been quite a journey that I don't think has happened on TV before. Are you sure you want to trust that power in someone else's hands? Any one of us might have to use the Luma Fate, and you've got to ask the question, what kind of temptations we'd be battling? It's great to see all of the characters together. Well, this really is the end of the world, then. I choose to surround myself with you guys. Don't you dare give up on me, Lance! It's gonna be one wild ride. So being in the 100th episode for me is huge because this is when we have a big, big storyline for Gideon, so it's, it's massive. This is monumental. I can't believe I get to be here. Um, I'm so very excited for the, the growth uh, of Ava and Ava and Sarah's relationship, and it's really exciting to see some old faces. When you're eating Person. I recommend starting with the limb. Katie Lotz, also known as Sarah Lance, is directing the 100th episode and she's amazing. I've been here since, you know, season two of Arrow, so I think I've done like 140 episodes as this character. And to see us make it all the way to 100, uh, it's, it's really exciting. When I see Damien Dark, I'm gonna kill him for good this time. The script was a tough one to nail down because we were trying to get so many cast members from before and, you know, not every show gets to meet this incredible milestone. I think some of the most fun moments um, is, is in the shooting. It's, it's the, the relationships that uh, I have with the other characters and when we're creating new moments that maybe weren't on the page, but that were sparked from what's happening in the story, and then we build and build and build. And, and we just really love working together, and we really love our crew and our extended family in LA. And it's just, it's just really thrilling to to, to make this, uh, to make it to this milestone. We play around, we mess, we just sort of like make each other laugh. So it's uh, always a good time. Give it up, Bishop. You lost. Never. Ooh. We shot a scene where I was sort of on the outside as um, the legends were all uh, bundled around Rory's new hatched babies. Um, and it was in between takes and honestly I was just enjoying standing outside watching all the legends goof off between takes because it made me think, oh this is such a nice family, they're such close friends and they're having such a good time doing this that I, I thought, oh this is a joy to be a part of this. <laughs> The craziest episode of Legends, I, I don't think I could pick one. Um, so I think my top three would be the 100th, for sure. Uh, 605, where I turned into Princess Astra. And 514, the one we're trapped on TV. All pretty crazy in my book. You, Mr. Unicorn. Come get this nice, juicy red pomegranate. <laughs> my favorite memory of being on the show was when I was topless and had my nipple ripped off by an evil unicorn sent from hell to destroy the world and Gary, sadly. But Gary survived, thankfully. Ah! The unicorn bit my nipple off! Oh, forget it, mate. Come on, it's a badge of honor. You see, my soul's heading straight to hell, but your nipple... Just go there first, that's all. For me, it's uh, Legends of Te Meow Meow, where Zari is trapped in a time loop, and uh, we see many different versions of the legends. Knock, knock, anybody home? Uh, I literally every episode of Legends is, uh, and every time I read it, I'm like, what? I think that uh, Mr. Parker's Neighborhood was particularly crazy. Look, all I know is I'm up here right now as part of some soul harvesting pyramid scheme. Honestly, I can't keep up with these millennials and all their newfangled world domination plans. So you're doing the whole villain thing again. But the one that really blew my mind would have to be the Bebo episode. What the same hill? 
going on? I think this is part of Sarah's plan. I la la love you. You know, on a time ship, it's difficult to know where we are exactly in the calendar. So rather than try to figure all that out, we just celebrate all of the holidays at once. <laughs> Birthdays, holidays, everything together. So this is in honor of St. Patty's Day. <laughs> huh. Sorry to enter these new legends. Yeah, I like them too. It's been such a great um, anchor to like look to Katie, and she's just been brilliant. Um, working with her has been fantastic. She's so, so good. So that's been wonderful, and such a great thing that she's doing the 100th as well, so. She's really stepped into it. Uh, I think she's a fantastic director. She knows how to speak to, to actors and the crew. I feel secure, like she's taking care of us, and that's you know, really what you want uh, from a director. And I think it's really special. I mean, being able to work with not just a cast member, but someone who really knows the show and is passionate about it is really awesome. I mean, she just knows what she wants. And you know you're in such good hands and you know that you're being cared for and that everything's being thought about. So it's such a wonderful experience. I'm always super confident and just super relaxed when we have Casey or a co-star directing. When she's directing, she's so fully um, embodying that role. And also to see her like, direct and and then like jump into the scene and act in it and then go right back and like look at the monitor and watch it all back and she's just like in the zone amazing she's fantastic she's whip smart she's super dedicated motivated creative we are so so very grateful thank you so much for being with us and supporting us and it's exciting when as actors we know that we are bringing to life characters and situations that reflect experiences in your life. Thank you so much for always supporting me and supporting the show. Thank you. Because you guys stuck with us while we were experimenting and as we experimented your feedback kind of shaped our show. Uh, it means so much. We feel the support and we love you. <laughs> we love you guys and thank you for sticking with us especially those fans that have been there since season one even when we were like figuring stuff out and you guys stuck with us and our show is so specific. Uh, it really is its own little niche, and I think for the people who get the show, it, they love the show, and we feel that love from you guys, and we have so much fun making it, and we feel so blessed that you guys watch it so we get to do it, and thank you for getting our humor, thank you for playing with us, and we love you guys. 